and your teenager is just going to get used to what it feels like to be on this left side of the car. They're going to learn how to operate their turn signals, scan around corners, and turn and steer and accelerate and just really figure out how to move the car around safely. Once you've given your teenager time to get comfortable in the car and they feel safe knowing that they'll be able to operate all the car parts, you're gonna to wanna to take them out on the road in a safe space, like in a large parking lot. So we're gonna head out on the road and we're just gonna think about how we would feel if we were a parent and a teenager in a parking lot doing a first driving lesson. So one thing that you're gonna have to get used to as a parent coaching your teen is of course, you're, seating, you're seated on the right side of the car. So the cars parked on the right side are gonna feel closer to you, of course, when you're in that seat. And your teenager is just gonna get used to what it feels like to be on this left side of the car. They're gonna learn how to operate their turn signals, scan around corners, and turn and steer and accelerate, and just really figure out how to move the car around safely. And you definitely want this parking lot type space to get started in. Sometimes that could be like an industrial area on the weekends, or maybe just a really quiet neighborhood where there isn't a lot going on. But you want this safe space so your teenager can have the quiet and just figure out steering and speed and how to use the turn signal. Those are three things that they're gonna to have to learn to process. And when you're in a quiet space like this, it just gives the teenager a little bit more time to process everything in a comfortable way. So let's go around one more loop, working on this left turn. Of course, we're also figuring out how to stop. We're watching for pedestrians. We're figuring out how to turn the wheel and release in a really controlled way. Your teen will be figuring out how to accelerate to get up to a speed limit, but then how to ease off the gas pedal so they don't go too far over the speed limit. So just so many things to get used to that you're already used to because you've been driving for decades. So just going slow and steady inside a parking lot is exactly what your teenager needs in their first driving lesson. And while you're sitting in the passenger seat with them, you can talk about like, don't stop for birds. You can talk about watching for parked cars that might be reversing. You'll talk about doing a full stop at the T at the end of the road. This is your opportunity to just remind them about all the rules that they learned when they were studying for their permit. They've already had a first lesson with an instructor, so they've gotten comfortable. And this is just your chance to figure out how you're gonna be a car coach for your new teen driver. So let's say best case scenario, you and your teenager spend maybe 10, 15 minutes driving around in the parking lot. You start to build the confidence with your teen that you trust they're gonna be able to stop when they need to. You start to feel comfortable because you're watching them steer and so you're like, okay, I think they're doing okay. 
If you need to make adjustments to their steering, if you find that they're gripping too tight, you can suggest that they relax their arms. Sometimes you might have to do a little bit of encouragement, encouraging them to accelerate. You're lucky if you have a cautious teen. But once you feel safe and you've got the parking lot down, you're gonna wanna keep going. So set yourself up and choose a spot where it'll be really easy for you and your teen to get out of the parking lot and just do a little bit of exploring in a neighborhood that's not too busy. The goal of the first driving lesson is to get comfortable in a parking lot type setting, but then get out of the parking lot and feel comfortable driving around in an easy neighborhood. It's in this space that we get to get comfortable keeping our lane position. We're driving about 15 miles an hour and we can manage this curve quite safely. So we get to practice steering. We see the yellow dots, so we get to practice staying on our side of the road. These are all important skills that are gonna build up so that when you get out onto a busier road, you continue to feel safe and that your teenager is able to process everything without being startled. And that's really the thing I hear most from teen drivers. They just say there's so much to keep track of and they're nervous while they're evaluating all of the things they have to keep track of, they're afraid they're gonna miss something. And of course, that's what the parents worried about too. But by starting in a quiet space like a parking lot, building up to a little bit of a more complicated space, you and your teen will be able to build your awareness together so that once you're on a two lane road, for example, like this, and building up to the speed of 25, you'll just feel like, okay, this feels good. And we're gonna have our first car pass us on the left. And that's something that's really common when you're driving with a new driver, because the new driver is going to be driving the speed limit, while the rest of the world is maybe speeding a little. But on this two lane road, your goal is to just give your new driver the time they need to feel comfortable. So we just made a big loop and we're gonna go right back to that spot we started in, in the parking lot. We didn't have to get too much further than outside the parking lot to get a little bit more action. We had a little bit of neighborhood action and then we had one car driving alongside on our two lane road. For a new driver, that's the perfect amount. So think about a 20 minute driving lesson, getting started in a safe place like the parking lot, figuring out what it feels like being seated in on the left-hand side of the car. Give your teen time to warm up their parts, making sure they can use all the signals and the windshield wiper, making sure they feel comfortable with their gas and their brake, some steering, and then if you feel safe in the parking lot, take it out into a small neighborhood and then build up to a two-lane street if you feel safe. Have a great first lesson, set a great foundation for all the lessons to come. You've got 50 hours to go. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks a lot. Bye.